Hi. Hi. Hi, everybody. You know, what's new with you? Um, well, I got into a, a new Twitter fight today. What was Woo! the fight? It was it wasn't in a fight. It wasn't in a fight. It was like um it was kind of a drama though. That that that's funny because Venti's involved a little bit. Did you uh -oh. guys talk about that? No. Um, so yeah. like that, you know that pearly things girl? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. She, with her. Oh no. Yeah, yeah she's annoying. Like yes. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna come out and say it. Like she's a liar. She doesn't believe anything she says. That's the problem. She's just a grifter. She's literally a grifter. Uh, yeah, and she's, she's just annoying. Don't believe anything. She says the stupidest shit I've ever heard. Like, and I'm just like, what? Like, how do you have a freaking million subs? Like, it's just like the kind of like just dumb shit over and over. She says what they want to hear. That's why. Yeah, but it's yeah. like even if they want to hear it, you're like. Really? Are we at this like fucking From stage of the conversation yeah. <laughs> where it's like, oh, girls are better than boys and there boys suck and There's girls are I bad. Like, is there something I'm going to go follow, follow her now. What, what's her name? Pearly I'll, things. Just pearly I'll say, things. I'll, I'll say something to her. Don't worry. But she <laughs> talks about yeah. relationships, but she's not fucking in one. No, she's not in one like, at all. And yeah. she apparently got oh, catfished by some fucking rando dude. It's like this whole thing. Look, if you if you guys want to know what's going on with her, go and watch Venti's video. Shout out to Venti. Venti did a lot of work on that video. She okay. needs, everybody needs mm -hmm. to watch her, her video. But anyway, so Pearl said some stupid shit on Twitter. So I was like, okay, I'm going to respond to this because this is dumb as fuck. So then I like responded to it. And then this other girl, Martina something, I'm she, like, this up. she like commented on, oh, here, you want me to send it to you? Is this is it. So you, I don't know what you were responding to, but you, know, you said, what? what the fuck? How do you go from women with big tattoos to having multiple baby daddies to anyone over 35 as a deterrent for dating women who cares about the personality or a kind heart? So what was this? What so was, that's this. Mine was in response to her video because she made a video just titled Five Red, like what was it? Five Red Bells or something like that. Like five red five red alarms about women. Like it wasn't like, okay. oh, if you want to start a marriage or if you want to start, like it was just like five red alarms about and women. And she has all of them. <laughs> and then she right. just starts going from like, oh, uh, like girls with tattoos. Like, don't trust women with tattoos because that means they have, like, low um, self uh, – what's it called? Well, what does she say, self -worth. I don't know. Probably self-worth or, or something. Not self -worth, but they also but, like, have a high pain threshold. So they, it's they like – hey. Yeah, I know. I have well, high we can pain watch it. It's, We can watch it. It's, it's pretty short. Like, her video is okay. pretty short. Uh, here, I'll pull it up. Like, the nerve. Dude. How much the of this nerve. would you say is, like, interesting versus just – High school, it's just uh, high school like shit. Twitter man. drama. Okay. Oh, the, hey. most of it is high school. But anyway, so this chick, uh, this other chick, Martina, she came up and she was all. Martina hates Britney because a couple of years ago, and that's why, like, like Martina's done my show. She she will not do Simcast because she doesn't want to be with Venti. Because I guess a few years ago, Venti did a video about her, right? Kind of outing her for for being boastful about like she did a super cut of her being like i've been on billboards and magazines and her saying it like a hundred times in a row okay. like just being overly boastful about her modeling career and i guess venti just sort of pointed it out in a big uh, super cut of a video which uh, i like i didn't know like i don't know about any of this like i just know she has a beef with Brittany Venti. And the funny part is the reason I actually found out about her having beef with Brittany Venti is because months and months ago, someone who I will not named spoke to me privately and was like, hey, this girl doesn't like you because you're friends with Brittany. And I was like, I don't even know How who she is. is that like, I was like, I don't know who takes. you are. I've had people shit on me for being associated with Chrissy before. That's happened quite a bit. You're quite polarized. Well, I, mean, I love when that happens. <laughs> to be fair, Chrissy has made national news for being yeah. an alt-right bitch. Like, I mean, 
it kind of makes sense. Mm, the airport right. thinks, oh no. Chrissy, later remind me, I'll read you the messages I've gotten from the Malaysians. Oh, if no, you want they're after you. Oh, I love them. I love them. They're Dude, so Pearl sweet. tweets like a 15 year old girl. What I had to so scroll mad. down so much to find this fucking video, but here it is. I just put it in the private chat for you. Um, so, anyways, this chick is like, oh, like I'm so mad because. Brittany Venti uh, made a video about me. And here's Nina talking to Pearl, like trying to attack her about this video. And, you know, Venti said the same thing to me years ago. And I'm like, I don't have any idea what you're talking about. And you just blocked like me. Any excuse to ham fist her into the conversation and like bring it up. Yeah. And she blocked me like originally, like when the whole Venti, we were trying to get Venti's account on ban about the Eliza Blue thing. All oh, right. She like banned me like, or she blocked me like way back when I'd never had a conversation with her. And then I found out through other people that she doesn't like me because I'm friends with Venti. And I was like, hmm. how was, I've never had a conversation with you ever. And now you're I'm trying to Because I out. talked to her and I was on a podcast with her. Whose podcast was I on? Was it yours, Chrissy? Like, were, did you have her on here? I have ne have I ever had, no, I don't think, I don't think Pearl has ever done. No, 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 she's Martina. Oh, she's Martina, Martina. Oh, Martina has never done Simcast. I think I've I've interviewed her. Who once. the hell's podcast was I on with her then? I don't remember it. I was on one with her, but I talked to her on Twitter sometimes, and I'm friends with Brittany. Like, does she not know that? I didn't even think it was an issue. When like, when 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 she finds out, she's gonna be like, "I'm banning your ass." Because well, apparently... that like, video was so old, and who cares? Like, I don't understand. That yeah. was so many years ago. Like, she start. She's still like hanging on to it because she's all. I Nina don't should have called out Venti, and I'm like, I don't fucking like. Know I don't have. A We're all grown people. It's not. It's not. I think it's very lame to disassociate just because someone else doesn't. Yeah, it's like not like somebody. I'm going to be talking about mm -hmm. her behind her. I don't do that. I don't do that to anybody. Like mm -hmm. I don't. Plus, I'm not like that good of friends with her to do that in the first place. But I still wouldn't like following her and like to talk about her. like that is so dumb. Like I don't do shit like that. And I don't know. That's just weird. That was a long yeah. time ago. Brittany made that video. So. Yeah. Yeah. Is there any context to know before I play this Pearl video? All you need to know is that th th this was what I commented on. I was just like, I don't agree with going from like, you know, tattoos to whatever the fuck she goes to. Just, and But I just never liar. agree with anything she has to say. So, I mean, if you don't want to watch it, you don't have to. All right, let's just... let it rip. Let's see what we How think. How are you going to trust a woman with your children if she has a big tattoo all over her chest? What up guys, welcome to the Just Pearly Things YouTube channel and welcome to my whiteboard videos. Today, I am gonna be talking about five red flags in women. Now, oh, this is just graphics. coming from my experience okay, pause it. hundreds yeah. of who, who, women. I'm sorry. So she goes, who's five. Whose side are we supposed to be on here? <laughs> We 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 five red flags women. I bet I'm. I bet I have all five. <laughs> I bet I do. Too. Yeah, because I already hate this woman. I don't know. But, uh, well, you don't have. But you don't have the giant tattoo on your chest, Chrissy. Okay. I personally, because yeah. I would never want anything to wreck my cleavage. But I'm not. You but know, there's I'm been a lot of like jizz you know. on my chest in my life. I have. Oh my. You know. Just just saying. You know. Oh but so goodness. no chest pieces for women, but you can have regular tattoos. All right. I mean, so Pearl has had jizz all over her face, I'm sure. And then they <laughs> left immediately after. Yeah. <laughs> Pearl. Like, okay. Yeah. Pearl necklaces, really. Yeah. yeah. Right. Wow. <laughs> all right. Well, I don't know about all that. But <laughs> all right, anyway, let's thing. see what the red she flag is. Like Greta you know, if I had a brother, which I do, I have five. This is the advice that I would give them. You know, you guys can take it or leave it, but this is my two cents. Before okay, I okay, start, okay, don't okay. forget to like the We're going to leave it. Thank yeah. you. Because she goes at the beginning of the video, right? She's like, this is five alarms for like five red flags in women, right? Okay. So far, she's not given any context about five red flags in women if you're looking to start a family, right? Right. Five right. red flags in women if you just you're, wanna date. yeah, if there's a certain, like, there's an if, there's a context, right? So she argues with me about my contacts. I'm like, well, you're not, you're not really saying that. She says that in the middle of a video for one of her reasons, but she's advertising it as five red flags in women, depending on who you but are. She's also treated like, 
you know, she right. probably understands YouTube and it's like there is an element of clickbaitiness that is mm -hmm. going to do well for her. If you have a if title. If she like understood five, YouTube, five. she would uh, dress differently and like, I don't know, pop, <laughs> pop her hair into a, a top knot at least something mm -hmm. and maybe... <laughs> Uh, sorry, I just hate this woman already. But go, go ahead, <laughs> woman in the pink dress, and tell me about the the red yeah. flags in women. Go ahead. Because one ahead. man's red it. flags yeah. are another man's. Um, red flags you know, are the they were created for men. There's mm -hmm. it, nobody's ever talking about red flags in women. It's for it's the dude. Walking red flag. Like, okay, are you serious? Yes, exactly. Yes, exactly. This Thank is you. Really important. Just go tattoos. ahead, though. Yeah. Just tattoos. Or tattoos in really any big, bulky tattoos that can be easily seen and not covered. Typically, this means she's spontaneous and not in huh. a good way. Oh, who hates a spontaneous woman? Not in a good way, though, guys. Burn them at the stake. I hate this woman. I'm sorry. So she says typically <laughs> they're spontaneous, right? You know, no, it's you so be funny. Men are spontaneous they, we, we, when they fuck somebody else. Great. Woohoo. <laughs> Very <laughs> spontaneous. Yeah. The funny yeah. part about women that, like, that every woman that I've ever met that has, especially women who have really big tattoos, okay? Like, not, we're not talking about like a tramp stamp or like a really tiny tattoo. I have tattoo. one right here. My boyfriend has a right. tramp stamp. It's well, it's but we're, horrifying. I'm talking about, and, like, yeah. Giant tattoos, especially <laughs> like here, kind of like Melanie Mac, like really big tattoos. Sure, sure. Those women usually really think out what kind of tattoos they want. And yeah. they know that they're making a commitment to a tattoo for the rest of a life that they're going to have to look at right in the mirror. Mm -hmm. So it's actually the opposite of what she's saying to me. Because usually women who get those kind of tattoos, they've really thought it through. It's not like, You oh, are so right. For you to mm -hmm. have a tattoo printed on your Absolutely. chest... Mm -hmm. You really wanted it, and I fucking fully support that. But that's mm -hmm. she's this woman saying it's very spontaneous. Yeah. Okay. Let's do a number. Chrissy, two. right? So when we were in Vegas, <laughs> I should have gotten Bisconti tattooed on my chest <laughs> because I'm so spontaneous. Oh, no. no, right? I know. Exactly. I thought about mine. I thought about mine for years before I pulled the trigger on it, just to There's make he? sure. And you're exactly. a great mom. Thank exactly. you. Number two. Is. Number two, oh, okay. number two. If she has more than one baby daddy, because my question All is, right. I would agree one, with that. Not two. Now you're looking for a third. You know, clearly this is a woman that doesn't value commitment. If she's got children with two different men, she committed to the tattoo. Responsible. And clearly, <laughs> commitment is not important to her, and okay. she values Again, her feelings. Pause it. Because even for number two, like, and and while I get where she's coming from, because obviously. Um, you know, women with multiple baby daddies as a turnoff, but there's mm. always an exception to the rule to like women who've lost their husbands and remarried yes. and have children yeah. with those husbands mm -hmm. or like women who, you know, have married twice maybe because, you know, the first one just doesn't work out mm -hmm. because they were in an abusive relationship and they have, a, you know, a, a, Courtney a, a Kardashian literally has two baby daddies now. And that's Kourtney right. Kardashian, right? Someone like a celebrity so, who or who I mean, has enough money, like they can, they're kind of, they're so rich that they don't even have to operate in normal, mm, in normal culture. Right. Because it's like, yeah, two yeah. baby daddies. If it's just like, they're just, willing to overlook that because she's rich, famous, beautiful, whatever. Yeah, what I about mean, the dudes that have fucking kids with like eight women? Because I know a bunch of them in my fucking old neighborhood. Literally, like ten different kids with to ten different women. Yeah. So what about them, Pearl? Oh, yeah, yeah, Pearl. How about <laughs> that, Pearl? <laughs> Nick Cannon is like six baby mamas right now. I did. And it's more than that. I think yeah. It's wild. And he's doing great. <laughs> so, I don't know. Oh, oh God. Um, woo, I just had to call attention to this. Uh, oh, my God. Thank you for the super chat. Rusty Knight. Speaking of tattoos, Chrissy, can you interview Roma Army? I don't know who that is. Thank you. Thank I've you heard so that much. name. I'm going to check them out. I don't know who that is. Thank you, but we'll find Great out. Donation. Wow. Roma Army. Okay. I okay. don't know who that is either. All right. I want to know how many of these red flags I have. I'm going to keep going. Yeah. If she talks about horror, ah! <laughs> this is That's okay. Pause Yay! it. Yay! This is, you know, this is an under thing for <laughs> Venti. You know, she's coming after Venti for this one. Yeah. Like, think is, so? Do you think one, this is a specific? Oh, yeah. Percent, this women is an like underhanded attack. Horse, on Let Betty. me guess, because she's so Christian, right? She's so Christian. Yeah. It's the devil. Mm. Mm. I think some, and I'm not just 
do it as a coping because I am a horoscope person. But I think if you talk about it a little bit for fun is one thing versus mm -hmm. planning every aspect of your mm -hmm. life and choosing your person. Right, yeah, that's psycho. I agree. Right. Like, like what if you like, oh, mm -hmm. this guy is a uh, doesn't match his sign doesn't match my sign. I can't be with him type of oh, thing. Yeah, that's yeah so I've heard those that's women. Crazy. They're nuts. I actually don't know shit about horoscopes. Like I know my sign, maybe. And what's your sign, probably. April? Sagittarius. Oh, oh like she that's knows. why I love you. All my best friends are Sagittarius. Is that's okay. not that's true. True. right? See, I but I don't I can't just look at somebody and be like, "Oh, that's got to be a Gemini or something like that." Yeah, I, have I don't. No idea. Yeah. yeah. No, you can't look at it, and it's for fun mostly. But sure. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We don't base our whole lives on it, mm -hmm. but uh, it's like yeah. sports for us, really. Mm -hmm. you know? I think number exactly. three is yeah. what I probably agree with her the most, like in this sure. list, is the horoscope, especially because yeah. I've known women that are actually like this, like. They blame their entire life, like, especially when things go wrong. They're like, well, the stars just didn't align or like, you know, just yeah, this, thing was, this, this thing was off. And it's yeah. just like, you're like, dude, right. take some responsibility for your Something actions. about the tides yeah. and the moon yeah. and the periods always... and women are the devil and mm -hmm. the moon. Anytime. Is... Yeah. yeah, anytime I've heard women freaking out around me that are into the horoscopes things, I know they say things like the, the mercury... Retrograde? Isn't it? <laughs> Retrograde. That's the word. They say that shit. And That's like, yeah, if you're going to excuse things, I don't mm -hmm. think you can excuse behaviors on horoscopes. I no. think that's crazy. Absolutely not. I'm a Scorpio. So is Chrissy. Uh, <laughs> we're the assholes of the Zodiac, but we're the nicest people, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Aww, I think aren't so. We? Yeah. I think yeah. so. Yeah. I think well, so. Also, uh, also, leave you for dead in a desert. Yeah. We're oh, good. That's good to know. Not uh, each other, though. No, yeah. we we're we're very loyal. But uh, yeah, everyone says that Gemini is like the psycho because I'm a Gemini. I always hear bad things, and I'm like, I don't even want to know. Then, like, every I love always... Gemini's. I've come around on Gemini's. Uh, I don't know the difference. I don't know the differences <laughs> either. I don't. I have the thing no is, idea. you can't really Ooh. tell. There again, it's just fun stereotypes, like by the sign. But if you really want to go in deep on somebody, you have to look at their chart. And then you have to look at what planets are in other houses to, to determine like, uh, like, well, there's your sun sign and then the planet that's in your moon sign can sometimes balance that out. So like, this is real know. going hard on number yeah. three. God damn. No, uh, right. I'm right. Triggered by number yeah. three, clearly. Um, like calculus again, for me, not don't, understanding. <laughs> if you are letting like astrology completely run your life, that's, yeah. I think that's a cope. Right. I think that's a, that's somebody who's not, in the driver's seat of their own mm -mm. car. Right. But I think so what Nina's trying to say is that's a clear dig at Britney though. Right. Because Britney's yeah. into that stuff. Yeah. Right. No, really? I mean, is Pearl really thinking that much about Britney? Yes. Ladies, living rent free. Who knows? I think, I think she is because mm -hmm. she just seems like one of those types of people who will like will not has let a whiteboard and a, and a, yeah. and a marker. right and, and she like she clearly <laughs> tries to get Britney's attention with certain things okay. even though she's like blocked her she'll like it's just one of those things I I know people like her so I like I know she's being very passive aggressive so she, obviously she's not gonna say it's Britney Venti but mm. she of course she has to put horoscopes in here she's talking yeah, about so maybe she's in love with Britney she might be gay you never know maybe let's see. all right let's see what the other red flags are she is very single so I don't know <laughs> when a woman is kind like of talking about quality on this energies video I can't take accountability for my poor decision that so I agree what'll with. happen is she'll so freak you. out you know on the show or in life and she'll blame it on her star sign you do not want a woman that is blaming her poor decisions i don't on think her any woman Lord, that you're a person that. take seriously is doing that <laughs> no though. no i i know women that do that chrissy they need help really on not their own show <laughs> they no. Get no. Like, weird done. Be Oh, gets BLs, work done. Botox, lip fillers. Guys, this all comes at a cost that you will have to pick up when you guys get together. You know, this shows one, the average woman makes like 35K a year. So Does she? <laughs> priorities Please. if she's spending oh money God. on lip fillers, BBLs, Botox. And at some point, you are going to be the one to pick up that bill. And for, it's just, I don't think that's she, she quite she quite um, literally said that that women are making thirty five thousand dollars a year with whether you are with it doesn't matter how much any of us yeah, make any sure. of us she just assumed that women in general 
should be and are making around $35,000 a year. And whether it's ridiculous. getting work done or your clothes or your makeup or whatever it is you're spending to look the way you want to look, I don't think yeah. uh, most women are putting that expense on their husbands at all. No, I just like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't no, expect, they're putting themselves like, just in debt. Frank doing wouldn't it, expect I me to help pay for a video game. I would never buy makeup and take it out of our account or something like right. that. And yeah. also okay. we're all going to Nicole Kidman looks the way she does because of Botox. I assure you, I promise you <laughs> just don't tell your men just do a little to, to, I haven't even done it yet. I turned 30. I'm going to be 31, but yeah, I will unequivocally I mean, get a baby bit of Botox because it's preventative. <laughs> this but woman like will this not know that, that a woman, whatever they want to do to themselves is going to use the money from the relationship to do that. I think that's an unfair assumption. Right. And she said BBLs, like the, we're going to go, to, we're going to like get, get our asses filled. Well, really? guys, if she's getting a BBL <laughs> with your money, there's a good chance she'll die from it. So yeah, yeah I don't think mm. like what women are using their men's money for like uh, personal stuff. I Instagram I, I girls. Are Does using Pearl have a man <laughs> by the way? Uh, no, I so. no. no, I don't no, think so. Either. Right. Okay. He's very yeah, but... single and she's apparently been catfished uh few like once, which was really fucked up. Tree of logic did a video about that. That was funny. She's so been catfished. Empty. She should have yeah. been smarter. Oh, um yeah. and it's and I think it's just really f weird because she constantly gives marriage advice and like relationship advice. And like she's she, I don't know, she wants to be like a trad wife or something, and she cut just talks constantly I've heard that. about. Like you know oh, what she should have done with her whiteboard, taken the man <laughs> that was catfishing her, and made a list of maybe uh, reasons that this man is maybe real and reasons mm -hmm. that this man is probably not real, and then right. maybe she would have figured oh it out that she was being catfished. <laughs> okay. Also, Let's see what the last yeah. red flag is. Hold on, it's just not the most honest. Like personally, if I was recommending a girl to my brother, if a girl's got heavy work done, she's usually insecure. You know, she usually. I wouldn't say necessarily um, work, but it's like if you can tell that the person is obsessed with their appearance, and that may not necessarily be surgeries or fillers, but like mm -hmm. if it's, if you can tell by an insane amount of makeup or, or just like, right. I would say that's be. more like an insecurity red flag. I mean, there's, there's lots of people getting all types of work done and uh, most of you, you can't even tell because you don't by the know time, anymore. It's so a good. It's very right. subtle. So I, I don't think that's anyone's, uh, that's a dumb red flag because people are getting work and no one can tell. So it's like, if just because you can see well, that she just makes up statistics you know I mean? out of her ass though, Chrissy, like she's like, Oh, $35,000 a year. These women are making and then And at some point they're going to keep getting this work done. And then the men are going to end up paying for it. And it's just like, what the fuck are you? Even, what are you talking about? No, she what? does make up shit. Cause I'll look it up and like, some what? of her shit I used to. And that doesn't say that anywhere about shit. She's talking about like the statistics she brings up. I'm like, where are you getting this? Like she never says where she's getting it from. So well, you just have to wear where she got her shitty dress. <laughs> Goodwill. I, just, I wouldn't, you know, tell a brother or a guy I cared about to go for that. Five, 35 plus. Now, this is not to say that all women over 35 plus shitty. would make, be horrible wives. Um, in fact, there are some that would be great wives and mothers. The reason I would tell my brother not to go for a girl over 35 is because geriatric pregnancy starts at 35. And if he wants a wife every Fuck. year, it's going to be more and more risky for them to have kids. So this is just my opinion, right? Five red flags in women. Dude, Kourtney Kardashian. Yeah, sure. This is pregnant. not particularly groundbreaking. <laughs> No, I well, think so. Uh, but we're going to call these red flags. Yeah, that's my the point. red like, flags like, about women. We can just chalk up all women. Yeah, these are the red awesome. flags: chest tattoos, two baby daddies, um, and then over thirty-five. Basically, I forgot the other two retarded, uh, whatever horoscopes. fucking reason. Horoscopes. I'm figuring out the horoscopes. Yes. No. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. I think yeah. she's trying to do. She's trying to make clickbait content. And uh, well, she did it, and I hate her. So, generate conversation and like nothing that she said is particularly original or specific to her. So, I think she just is she very good at taking everything things from fresh and fit other podcasts and kind of like uh, she's a she, monster and she should be stopped. There is a <laughs> 
I'm just like, and she could be projecting a little too. Like she has none of those things, you know, like, or she is none of those things. Like, and she sees other women with those things. Doing Thank you, well. April. Right. That's, exactly. Yeah. Right. That's what I feel. Well, and I, like, I just feel, honestly, I feel a little bad for her because I'm like, I don't feel bad. She has a no, whiteboard no, no. and a marker. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, no. The and reason I friend. feel bad for her is because <laughs> I feel like she's setting herself up to fail so hard because she's no, like, she's failed. She's failed. Look I mean, at her. She I mean, you're failed. right. 